We're getting ready to kick off the second half of the season with one of two doubleheader races at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. 33 laps is all the drivers will have to make their way up to the front here in this shootout race. This is the Cracker Barrel Atlanta Double number one. Zachary Lowe gets his first pull of the season with the lap clocking in at 27.215 and right beside him is the driver hungry for a win, Jay Jefferson. Evan Hunter with his second win of the season dethroned Marcus Yepes and took the points lead. It could be a climb for the driver in the number 11 however as he starts 14th. Yepes was moved to second and trails by 25 points and he'll start one spot ahead of Hunter in P13 but it'll line up on the preferred lane, especially for the star of the race. As we head for the green, prepare for jostling early and a bit of a spread out race as the run goes on, where the strongest cars will emerge out front. As they come to the line, green flag is out, we're racing for the second half of the season in Atlanta. In front of the chaos is Zach Rodolo as he leads the pack, which is going crazy behind him. You got three by three, multiple places down the order. First instance is between the 86, 10, and the 12. The 12 on the outside, 10 in the middle, 86 on the inside. Looks like Rose Henson is going to clear all of them. Back up front, it's the 15 of Nelson Reeves trying to catch Zach Rodolo on the 29. Sent it into the corner that time. Meanwhile, we got a battle for third back there. The 28's looking for a position on Colin Teague, who started second, or fifth, my bad. As Reeves right on the back bumper, Delello here. DeLillo being a little bit defensive for his spot. Kind of gives the dirty air to the 15. DeLillo's got a good gap for the lead. Henson getting passed up by Colin Teague in the 99. And it looks like the 77 has already gotten a pretty decent gap over that 11 car. His rival in points. Evan Hunter currently outside the top 10 looking in. See DJ Reed making a bonsai move of the 10. Now for the lead goes to 15 this time. Couldn't quite make it stick down the back straightaway. Peeks his nose in in turn number one and is going to take first spot. There he goes. 28 to follow on the inside. Looking to be the second driver of two to win for EKH Enterprises. Giving them their third win of the season. And it'll be Kirsten Martinez first, as Evan Hunter got the organization's first two wins this year. Now, going back for second is Zachary Delo, trying to push up the 28 up the racetrack. And it'll be the 77 to follow. He's looking for third. Maybe even for second, he dips down below the 29. Almost gets put in the grass there. But three wide for P2. Colin Teague also joined the mix. He's looking to take back a... Respectable spot in the top five as he's now looking for third place. Now maybe second as he peeks his nose under the 77's quarter panel. Downhill it goes for Zach Rodillo, but there's still quite a bit of race left. It is a shorter shootout race, but there is still time to get things done. 33 laps. Not too much time, but, you know, not exactly a... A very short race either it's the 89 of Nova Sports Aiden Smith he just took second away trying to chase down the 15 now but the gap uh, it is opening between the 15 and 89 
Might have just closed there as the 89 got a big run heading into turn number two. Aiden Smith trying to trail in behind the 15. He's looking already lower. He knows he can pass this car. He knows it's just a matter of when, but the 28 might have something to say about that. Here comes Martinez trying to go for second place. On Jack looking for yet another respectable run, trying to turn this season around. There's a point in time where Onjak was last in the points. Now he is 13th climbing his way up and he's looking for yet another top five. That would be his third in a row at least. Battle heating up back here for third. These guys within striking distance of each other any moment they could pounce. It'll be Onjak trying to pounce on Smith. Now the 28 is in danger being passed at 36 running to lower lane. And they are completely single file here. I want to say that they, they're still green, yeah. So they're not lining up for a caution. They are just organized here in the field in the Cracker Barrel double number one. But now it'll be Aiden Smith looking back for third. Martinez is going to have to defend her spot. Looks like she will for the moment. And it's pretty much a Novasport takeover up front within the middle of the top 10. You got the 77, 89, and 29 all running up front. But don't look now. Here comes Evan Hunter trying to creep on the 77, trying to hunt him down. For the lead goes Kirsten Martinez in the 28. Slides up the racetrack, makes a bit of contact there on the wall. And will they keep it up there? Looks like they both will, but that's pretty much competitive day ending damage for the 15 as he comes back down into his teammate who rubs him back up against the wall. Maybe trying to look for a caution here. Where is it? But that's not really caution material. He never went fully around. Now here comes the 77 trying to look for a position on the 89. Runs his team owner up the racetrack. DJ Reed waiting in the wings trying to see if these two get into it just like the front two did just then. Those were two drivers who really needed a break but looked like that would be their chance to 28 and 15. But yet it is squandered here only halfway into the Atlanta double. Race number one. Hunter has climbed back up. He is now third place looking for the 77. Got one spot in between them. Yepes takes the higher lane around the middle of the racetrack. Not quite as high as we saw the other two ran uh, or in the lap when they hit the wall early in the uh, race a couple laps ago. But he was up there. Now Smith relegated to the middle, and you can hold the, the top pretty well. As you see, Smith clear off the top side, and now Cologne is fighting up here. This is their top three in points. They started within, uh, all in the same vicinity of each other, back to back to back, and now they're up front showing their might as we hit around the tail end of the halfway point. Hunter still looking for that spot on Aiden Smith, and it looks like he'll get it. And now his sight is set. Oh, back there. Look out. 25 got sideways contact from the 31. Got him that way. Now he's back into the clutch as the 04, 84, 12. For the lead, here comes your two points contenders, Evan Hunter and the 77 of Marcus Yepes. 69, also top five in points. He is running, or uh, he is six in points, my bad, but he is running third in the race. Zacherdell looking to recover from a bad quarter. He was up in the top five in points before this season. He has fallen to 12th, trying to redeem himself. He goes to the inside of the 69 for third place. 89 waiting as well for the 69 to get relegated to the outside. But he dives it in deep that corner, but he's going to run up against the wall. The 11 peaked his nose down low on the 77 that time around. Just couldn't make it. He'll trail him down the back straight away. Looking for a move this time through three and four. He will. Side by side for the race lead on lap number 19. 
And to lead the lap, it will be Hunter. So he's going to take the lead away. But here comes a little back again. He dives it down deep in the corner. Has to wash up the racetrack just a little bit. He'll file in right behind his Nova Sport teammate, G uh, Marcus Yepes. But ultimately, he'll go to the inside through three and four. And take second spot. Now looking back for the lead. They go side by side once again. Aiden Smith looking to rejoin this fight. 77 up high. Almost in the quarter panel of the 11. But they keep it off each other. Now they're three wide for P2. Noah Sport now claims three of the top five. That's MW Racing's Pre McShane looking down under the 69, the 31, trying to look a bit lower. He almost got down in the infield. And look at the jostling back here. The 29 ran it up the racetrack, making room for the 77, but the 89 wants to make sure that's no opportunity for the 11 to pounce as he put him to the outside. Now the outside of three wide, he's going to fall back like a rock. And Nova Sport now claims three of the top three. Now, will they stay there? That is the question. McShane is having a pretty good run. She right now sits 16th in points, probably the lesser of the three MW Racing drivers. And we got a now battle for the lead between the 29 and 77. She's looking to redeem herself now. She is the highest running of that trio. Another person looking for the first win of the season is Hector Garcia. Was right there at Auto Club. He's going to give the 89 a huge push. Look at this. They make contact with each other. He slides up the racetrack. And that'll give the 31 in window to peek inside. He'll dive down low. 89 tried it. Tried to get down in front of the 31. It looks like he'll be able to clear though. To, despite that contact. And now DeLello's getting a run at the top side, it seems. 25 had a checkup. Looked like he was inside. Got the spawn on the 31, but the 31 looks to carry the run up the outside. Now, Yepes might use the train to his advantage. Look out back there. That That's almost a crash. But they keep it straight again. Look, don't look now, Nova Sport haters, here comes the, two, the 12. He's in the top five. 77 now falling back, though. He's nearly going to scrape the wall that time around. Jay Jefferson peeking into the top five uh, for the first time today. Here comes the 29 once again. Oh, he's drifting up just a little bit up to the 89. All three of these drivers looking for win number one of the season. Cologne back there and forth looking for his second. So is DJ Reed. The 89 ran it up wide a little bit, but the 31 is going to be the one to pounce on the 29 before the 89 can lose this lead. Oh, he's going to turn him into the wall and into the 25. This is going to be a major wreck here. With the 25 getting slammed by the 03, we still got some traffic coming. The 02 is involved, the 32 as well. 17's gonna slip by fine. But what just happened here at Atlanta? We've got quite a few of them out. Under caution for the first time today, and it's late in the race. What seemed to be an altercation between the 29 and 31. We'll have to check on that. See what brought out caution number one. Heading into turn number three, the 29. I'm not sure. He seemed to have tried to clear down low, but the 31 might have been there. But then again, it was a very bold move from the 31 of uh, Hector Garcia as the wreck continues back there. So yeah, once again, this is a... Very long wreck. You see the two get into each other up there. That collects the 25, 48, 84. That's a team killer for JJ Motorsports. 
the 03 also involved. You're going to see the 02 as well come right on in. The 32 is there, and second in points, Marcus Yepes. Definitely not what he needed. Same with the 25. We're going to get another shot here from afar and then try and go to an onboard. But you'll see just how long this wreck takes to finish. You see the 25 get clobbered by the 03 there. And some more cars come on in. That was the O2 making contact with the 33 to get them both involved. One more onboard to close out this replay. All right, this right here, you'll see just how this wreck starts, and it seems to just be a racing incident. 29 tried to block down low. You saw many drivers try and do the same thing, but the 31 was just, he was, he was there and may have been an aggressive move, but... Ultimately, it's just just another one of those racing deals, but we're gonna bring you guys back to the restart late in the race It will be one with about one or two to go here at Atlanta All right, here we are back live. It'll be a Two-lap race to the finish Aiden Smith your current leader behind him is Hector Garcia and uh, if if Aiden Smith's got any motivation to try and keep that 31 behind him. It's that last wreck, and you, you probably know the heat of the moment, what he thought. I mean, we know as an audience what we saw from the onboard camera, but who knows what that 89's thinking of that car right there in his rearview mirror. Maybe even telling the 12 to, to dive it down low immediately on Hector Garcia try and take his chance away at the win and right at the top five you have the 69 of DJ Reed and you got two of the uh, you got yeah two of the Anjado cars in the top five right now probably the best run for them so far can they keep it going and close out the deal that is the question as we approach the final restart of the race the pace car goes in we're about to see the fight to the finish here at Atlanta Come to a close. Green flag is out. Back racing. Two to go. And there's the 12 down low. 69 trying a little lower than that. Hunter already making moves. There'll be the white flag this time by. Can the 12 try and mount a charge for his second win of the season? The 69 dies it down in there. That'll give the 12 a big run, heading into four. Nearly contact between the two teammates. White flag is out, one more lap to go. Dead even at the line. Side by side through one and two. 89 ran up wide. Giving a clear window for the 69. Can he take this win? Or will it be Anderson Reed's day? It'll be a battle between the Reeds for this victory. Reed carries it through the corner and off a of turn number four. Anderson Reed emerges victorious with the win in a twist end at Atlanta. And yet another driver to get their second win of the season, third instance of a row, uh, in a row that we've seen of that. And that bold move right on the restart from the 12 not only cost the 31 the win, but it also cost the 89 the win. But Reed's thinking all for himself. He got the victory. And once again, another Nova Sport victory. It was them all day. It was a day of dominance for that team. But you can't ignore Anjato's effort. They placed third and six here today, but we'll go over them later. I have to re go over the full finish results. DJ Reed places second. Hector Garcia, after that incident, uh, 12 through the move, and he got ahead. But yeah, once again, uh, that wasn't a racing. Uh, that wasn't a racing incident. That was indeed, and um, just ultimately it, on the receiving end was Garcia. But he ends up third. That's uh, another good finish for him. Uh, that will help him in the points as he right now is ninth, probably going to propel him forward with how many drivers in the top 10 had a bad result today. We'll get to that later. Aiden Smith led at the final restart, finished fourth, and it'll be Evan Hunter, 
capitalizing on the 77's wreck with a 5th place finish. Peter on Jack places 6th after a um, top 5 run. He just lost that top 5 at the very end to Evan Hunter. And Colin Teague might have just propelled himself back into the title fight with a 7th place. Rose Henson 8th, Pre McShane 9th, and Landon Thomas stays in the top 10 after qualifying there. He rounds out that area of the results. You got the 28 in P11. They made some contact with the wall. The 20 and 15 did. They placed 11th and 12th respectively. The 17, 77, 30, 13th, and 14th. They were both, uh, well, Lynn Bell was not involved in that accident, but the 77 was. He was the first of the cars in the running order to be involved. And on down, you got the 02, 48, 84, 25, 03, 29, and 32 all affected from that accident. Probably the biggest wreck we've seen so far from this league. And it happened at Atlanta, so a um, bit of a surprise there. So, what a race it was at Atlanta. It heated up in the final stages, and it showed. You had intense racing. It, it, it involved a wreck, but at the very end, you saw a last lap pass for the win. And it was crazy all day. And the best part is we're coming back tomorrow for yet another race at Atlanta and uh, look forward to that if this is any indication for what that race is gonna be like then tune in because we've got another wild one coming up tomorrow on Gamer and R thank you guys for watching the Gamer and R sportsman series we'll see you next time